Tropical forests contain huge quantities of carbon dioxide, and when they are burned or destroyed, they release their stored carbon into the atmosphere. Today, the loss of tropical forests contributes more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than all cars, trucks, trains, and planes combined. If current trends continue, one half of all species of life on Earth may be extinct in less than 100 years, and global temperatures could rise two to three degrees over the next 50 years. Protecting standing forests is no longer just about biodiversity. It's also about climate change, an issue that affects all of us. Rainforest Tarif recognizes the interconnection between both of these global problems. We are an organization working uh, to protect uh, this part of the Selva Maya here, that is the Kalakmul Biosphere Reserve. The Selva Maya is extremely important. It's the second largest rainforest in the Americas and specifically the Kalakmul Biosphere Reserve is a 750,000 hectare reserve. It's very important for protection of biodiversity, for prevention of global warming. We have 60,000 species of plants and animals in Kalakmul. Dr. Gerardo Ceballos is one of the founders of Rainforest Tarif and the director of the Institute of Ecology at the National Autonomous University of Mexico. We have learned uh, from our research that, for instance, the whole area can have a population of, of more than 1,000 jaguars that is larger than anywhere else north of the Orinoco River. We also know that Calakmul is one of the three more important reserves in Mexico. So this is why we are putting so much, so much effort here, because if we save Calakmul, we will be saving a huge amount of species. Local communities, called ejidos, own large areas of the Selva Maya rainforest. For many ejidos, logging and slash and burn agriculture are the only economic options. Recent satellite images show fires burning all around the Kalakmul Biosphere Reserve and neighboring protected areas. A new threat to the area is a set of proposals from ethanol companies to convert the land outside and even inside the reserve for corn production. Rainforest Tarif partnered with the Ejidos to provide an economic alternative to logging and agriculture. Through innovative conservation agreements, Rainforest Tarif pays communities what they would receive from logging companies and has protected 180,000 acres of previously threatened rainforest. Working in partnership with the Global Conservation Fund at Conservation International and with carbon financing, Rainforest Tarif is building a trust fund that will ensure that land protection is financed forever. The reason why the Global Conservation Fund was interested in investing in this unique project for Rainforest Tarif here in the beautiful Kalakmul was specifically because the approach of the project is really different from sort of the traditional protected area, which is, you know, to set aside land, um, keep communities sometimes out of those areas, and to put up parks and guards. We're using an innovative approach of a conservation contract, of working with communities to engage them in alternative financing mechanisms that basically preserve the economic value of the forest standing as opposed to selling it off to a logging company. Rainforest to Reef's approach also includes partnering with communities to find more sustainable ways of working with their land and developing programs with teachers and students to create more awareness of the importance of biodiversity. ¿Qué mensaje le darían ustedes a los adultos, a la, a la gente grande del mundo? Que no quemen a los árboles, que no sean cortados los árboles. Que cuiden la naturaleza. 
Rainforest Tarif has also partnered with national researchers and expert wildlife trackers to better understand the habitat needs of jaguars. We can see how the jaguar use the forest and with remote sensing we can see which way and which patches of jungle is still being very important and there we can organize the corridors to, to one uh, reserve to another of which places are more important to preserve and to connect. Now, Rainforest Tarif is working to represent their community partners in the global market for carbon offsets. One of the most important programs that we're doing right now is we are measuring the amount of carbon that is stored in the forest extension. These forest extensions are very vast. They are huge storehouses of carbon. And as the market develops in the United States over the next few years, we plan to be able to sell to companies the offsets that are generated as a result of our land protection efforts. What we've done with the um, Friends of Colleague Mill and the Rainforest Tarif project here is to provide critical seed capital in the capitalization of this long-term trust fund. As a result, we hope that we can bring more partners into this model and um, we can all demonstrate together that this is a, an excellent model for conservation worldwide. By protecting their forests, the Ejidos will prevent more than three million tons of carbon from entering our atmosphere. Working together, we can ensure that the owners and caretakers of our great storehouses of carbon have what they need to protect the resources we all need to survive. <laughs>